Shalom family, Shalom, Shalom family. Today I'm gonna be breaking down um, in Chrysostomus, Sirach chapter 10, from verse 1 to verse 8. So I'm going to start at this. In Chrysostomus chapter 10, verse 1. A wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered as the judge of the people is himself so are, so are, sorry, so are his officers and what manner of man the ruler of the city is such are all they that dwell therein an unwise king destroys his people but through the prudence of them which are in authority the city shall be inhabited the power of the earth is in the hand of Yahya and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable in the hand of Yah is the prosperity of man and upon the person of the scribe shall he lay his honour. Bear not hatred to thy neighbour for every wrong, and do nothing at all by injurious practices. Pride is hateful before God and man, and by both will one saki dope one commit iniquity because of unrighteous dealings injuries and riches got by deceit the kingdom is translated from one people to another okay so what it's saying is is that um in today's world, right? For instance, um, what's going on in the UK, um, America, for instance, Israel, like what's going on with the war with Gaza and so on, right? Okay. So back in the ancient days, right? We all know that the wise judge, the wisest judge is the Most High. Yeah. The mighty God of Israel, right? Okay, and he, and he used Moses to instruct his people, right? For instance, when um, the captivity happened in Egypt, right? If you read the book of Exodus for better understanding, right, it tells you what, what happened. And in Deuteronomy, right, it tells you about what will happen if the children of Israel obey and disobey the mighty. Right? For a lifetime. So, as we know that now, um, for more than Babylon today is America and UK at any country that, um, you know, serve the Pope. So, we all know. The get go, right? And um, I remember um, there was an article about about to apologize to anyone who he have deceived over the years. Unfortunately, due to um, the damages he have done over the years, the damage has all already been done. Unfortunately. So that's why the Mosai is doing his works, you know. So if you see anyone that still loves the Pope, right, after what he has done, then you know that the time is coming to an end, unfortunately. Yeah. Hope it's the Mosai to see another day and to endure to the end. Yeah. So, 
verse 3 now right obviously we all know um what happened recently in the country uk and america about um not using the economy in the right way i obviously they um went astray by doing what they want instead of what the most i want us to do yeah so that's why if you see any so-called black man brown man who's praising the most side for Israelites right Asian Israel yeah unfortunately the modern Israel are not the original Israelites according to scriptures yeah so if you look chapter 21 it tells you what what, had, what has happened to the Asian Israel and obviously the modern Israel are run by the Gentiles today so yeah and that's why there's no peace no true peace in Israel to this day so yeah and um verse 4 the power of the earth is in the hand of of the mighty yeah the mighty god of Israel yeah so if you read job chapter 9 verse 24 it tells you that the earth has been given to the wicked so no matter what happens to the earth the moral side is the original owner of the earth and um, I want to let everyone know this so anything, anything that happens to anybody right just know it's most likely um, a spiritual attack or a spiritual awakening so if you praise the moral side and let him in by accepting the inner voice which is from him just know that's a spiritual awakening but if you reject the inner voice from him you have a spiritual attack from satan okay so i want you guys to you know get right with the more side let him in let him guide you and enjoy to the end and hopefully when Christ comes back spiritually, physically, then you know that you're ready. Okay? And um I just I just gotta end this video here. I hope you guys have a lovely day, loving night, yeah, a peaceful sleep and um enjoy to the end. Alright? Open some more say Bear Shem Open some more say Yahya, Bersham, Yahya, Hamashiach. Yeah, bless those who say um, Yah, Ahaya, Yahya, uh, Yahawa. Um, yeah, you know, as long as the name got Yah in it and you do what's right by being a doer to the word and accepting the Holy Spirit the Hura Kadesh, you'll be fine forevermore abundantly in for more size hands okay obey some more sign now shalom family shalom